Also, an El Paso judge has blocked the Texas AG's office efforts to shut down an immigrant shelter in downtown. Once again, the judge issued a pair of rulings saying the state was harassing the nonprofit's employees and immigrant guests at the Annunciation House. ABC 7's Ediberto Perez joins us live to explain. Ediberto. Good afternoon, Paul. Judge Dominguez's ruling say that the state's allegations stating that the Annunciation House was operating as a stash house are unenforceable. I spoke with the director of Annunciation House, Ruben Garcia, who said that the state's attempts or the, the attempts by the, uh, the, the Texas Attorney General's office, I should say, should not be allowed to move forward. And Paul, this is because Garcia added that the AG's desire to shut down Annunciation House and the shelter network was more political than anything else. The ruling also meant mentions that the AG was seeking evidence of alleged criminal activity all along. Director Garcia said since the lawsuit was filed, it has impacted Annunciation House in many ways. Volunteers have left and fewer people have signed up to assist them and other NGOs here in El Paso. The attorney representing Annunciation House, Jerry Wesevich, also gave me his thoughts after today's rulings. And it's not surprising that the court agreed with us on all of the all of the grounds there were there were many many different grounds why what the attorney general was trying to do in closing annunciation house and in demanding documents was all completely illegal and the court agreed with us on all of the of the points that we made um, and all we can say at this point. And Paul Stephanie, Attorney Wesovich also confirmed to me today that they haven't had any communications with the AG's office about today's ruling. Their guess is that the state will now seek an appeal on today's ruling. I also reached out to the office of Texas Attorney General Kim Paxton for coming, but didn't hear back in time for this newscast. I'm reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. All right, Eddie, thank you.